A naked Argonian is asking to be friends with me. Guys. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh. No, Shaky. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. I think Shaky's getting jealous. Let's just move move along now. Luna's the real MVP. Okay. I think I'll just be going now. Ho oh, ho. I think that was the test. Shaky probably paid him to be naked just to see how I would react and see if I was faithful. I think we passed the faithfulness test. Oh my gosh, why why are people naked? Head over to Ooh, this is my kind of war meeting. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. Uh-huh. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. We got something That's for the men and the ladies. Support, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take Whiterun. Jarl Balgruf. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Sir. This is probably how she rolls to rank so fast. Yeah, I think you're right, Gentleman Dragon. Hjalmarch is an important buffer zone I don't know why. Forces in the I really don't know. Ulfric will try to break through at some point. I don't have a lot of armor mods. I don't think I have any, so I don't know why some people are naked. I have barely have any mods. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? I'm just admiring the view. I have a message from the Greybeards. The Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? They're convening a peace council at Hyrothgar. Why? There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. We need a truce until the dragon menace is dealt with. They are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. The dragons are a bigger problem than the Stormcloaks right now. I'll be the judge of that. Ah. Besides, by all reports, the Stormcloaks oh, are, gosh, what are you? just as much um, as we are from these dragon attacks. Next. Comet? Comet? My gosh. He's getting dangerously close to me. Ulfric has already agreed to attend. Has he? I suppose he doesn't want to miss a chance to bluster about the Empire's many crimes. He's probably hoping I'll refuse so he can blame the Empire for being unreasonable. I think I'll have to disappoint him yet again. Uh, y you'll come to the Peace Council then? Yes, yes fine, I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. Oh, there we go. Uh, my mod list, I don't have a lot of mods. You can see them on YouTube if you look up the latest episodes of the main oh, quest. There's been another dragon attack. Kynes Grove this time. Yeah, there's dragons. You really should consider getting some. Talking peace with Ulfric? <laughs> you must be an optimist. You must be a nudist. I'll show myself out. Okay. Okay, then. Looks like we got everybody on the team. Now we can make our way over to High Rothgar. It is High Rothgar. It's so high. It's so high. I can fly. I love the Peace Council. That's why I funded it. That's good. Oh, oh my gosh! Is Ricky gonna show up naked to the Peace Council? Oh, I think she'll bring uh, she'll bring peace and uh, peace. All right. This is weird. Yes. There's no current mod list that's updated on Twitch Mia. Here we go then. Alrighty. So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here, in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. 
And I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Don't worry, I'll get them to agree to peace. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Look at me. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. So, Arngear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? Oh. You are not invited here. You are not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the Dragonborn on this path. Where are you? The hubris of the Blades truly knows no bounds. If it were up to you, the Dragonborn would sit dreaming on this mountain, doing nothing. Delphi, we're not here to rehearse old grudges. The matter at hand is urgent. Aldrin must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know a great deal about the situation and the threat that Aldrin poses to us all. You need us here if you want this council to succeed. Uh, very well. You may enter. Thank you. All right. East Council is going to be going underway. Now, shaky. Lead on. I'm behind. If he's going to tend, we got to make sure that he something. looks good. Do we have some clothes that are a bit more fancy? Some way he would. Oh, I just. He needs to look good. I don't know how I can make him look good. I think he'll just. Lead. I'll follow. We'll just have to make do. And uh, maybe I could steal some uh, clothes from, from them somewhere. Didn't Rick have some sort of relationship with Ulfric? Maybe she's naked to make him jealous? Oh my gosh. It It's a lore reason why she is uh, without clothes. It's not a mod derping up or anything. It's lore. I don't know if they store clothes here. The Greybeards only have like one outfit. Ah, uh, that's a bit of a shame. Oh well, we'll... Let's do the meeting now, I guess. Everybody's here. Take your seat and we can begin. With or without clothes. Look at this. Ulfric, Galmar, Einart. Yeah. Alright. Shaky. We all wait upon you, Dragonborn. Oh wow, I feel so important. I thank now you. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. Alright. Do this. Negotiate. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of... you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Did oh, wow. Hear, hear. He doesn't like your lack of clothes. I have every right to be at this negotiation. Oh, no, her. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please, if we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch, either she walks or I do. Boo, 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 boo. I feel like I should I should I should be on Ulfric's side here a little bit because he's a little hot-headed. Besides, I have no love for the Thalmor, so you're right. The Thalmor have no business here. I'm glad we agree on this. Very well, Ulfric. Enjoy your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for scaring the crap out of me. Unlike your imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's oh. council, Galmar. Leggett, 
We represent the Emperor here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Yeah, now put those away. Settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be able to resist. A temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? They're like bickering children! Yes, let's get this over with. Incredible. Are we ready to proceed? Like Yarl any sort Ulfric. of diplomatic ability. General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar, and do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, I'll this is outrageous. This. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif. I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council, <coughs> but you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. What would the Empire character. want in return? Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that... traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. This is going well. You are a traitor to the Empire and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Uh, you asking me these political questions? Yo, I'm here to slay dragons, and yeah, that's that. That's really it. But like, they're so they had just just the way they phrase things. It's just they're it's so loaded with like their own opinion of. Uh, it's just, it just just feels like they have no diplomatic ability. But Riften is much bigger, and Markarth is pretty big too. Dawnstar might seem like a bad trade, so I guess Riften, because it's about the same size as Markarth? How about Riften? Hmm. The Rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil, and threatened Ulfric's southern flank. Oh, you, what you would get, of course. Of course. Markarth would be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk of good faith. Why did that help, though? You disappoint Switching. Me, Dragonborn. I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name, but it seems you intend to favor Ulfric. I can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the headsman's axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreements? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me, and I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful 
with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the Dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Shores, bones, where will these demands end? You're the ones demanding! We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation this for your butchery at... All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? And this is like Game of Thrones right here. It's like everybody's bickering about who gets what part of land and who wins what war, but it doesn't matter if nobody turns to face the bigger threats, the White Walkers, coming. And it's like here, dragons will be coming to destroy all of Tamriel. And it's like, no, but I want this city. No, you don't get that city, but that city's mine. Well, I've taken Ulfric's side a little. So now I feel like I should also... Or should I just go with Ulfric? Ah. Have Ricky talk? She may persuade them a little bit. Oh. I don't know if I should... Should I go all out and support Ulfric? Or should I try to be a little bit even? What do you guys think? Hello, Ghost Crusher. Because I personally feel like I should do a little bit of both here, so Jatolius is not too upset. I would probably ma make him compensate. Oh, Steve Kennedy. Peter Totter in between. Negotiating the terms of the negotiation in the negotiation. Be even. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with I'm gonna go with my gut here. People are giving me conflicting opinions. So Ulfric should compensate you for Karth Waston. Well said. Once you'll actually pay for your crimes. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Ooh. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius. These are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces. Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thongvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. Maven Blackbriar? The Stormcloaks will pay appropriate compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. Oh, okay. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Ellison? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the dragon menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Galmar. We have a lot of work to do. Ulgrif didn't up say anything. Oh. It's a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. I don't care about your civil Gal war. Galgruf. I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. Good, but glad we had this talk. Remains how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated the while you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temp, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the blades recorded 
many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. How does that help us? Uh, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Why would he come when called? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon. After your victory over Aldrin, I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. So what's this dragon's name? Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice, like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here, in this scroll. Oda Vin, winged snow hunter, as I read it. Okay. As soon as I get back to White yes. Trump, get my men ready. Oh my gosh, don't see uh, one. Uh, we know. What? I can't hear you over the sound of a thousand men chanting into my ear. Turns out he's a dragon, but he helped me. That's fine. We needed his help. Now we don't. And it's long past time for him to pay for his crimes. And he's not just any dragon. He was the right hand of Alduin. He committed atrocities so infamous they are still remembered thousands of years later. He needs to die. He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. Until he's We're dead. bros. Sorry. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. Screw you. <laughs> I'm not gonna help you. Arthunax is my bro. Screw you. I got places to be. Shaky, I am offended and disgusted. Did you see how he helped me as soon as I got into some trouble with Eric? He, he's a bro. Anybody who helps me murder an innocent person, automatically on my good list, they will get a present on Christmas under the under the tree. Now, I don't know if uh, dragons really get Christmas trees, but... Ah, uh, it just looks like everybody's just, uh... Could have gone worse. Now it's up to you to deliver. Everybody's just going back to town. Hey, this quaint. Isn't this quaint? This gives you what you need. It won't last. You really should consider getting some clothes. I almost feel like I have to dress her a little bit. Hold on. Help tavern clothes. All right, let's click her. Let's get her. Let's get her reference ID. I have to get really close to. Oh my! Sometimes you can't get the ID right now. I think I'm selecting the air. Am I? Hold on. Set scale. No, that is her. Okay, let's see. Rip items zero zero D one nine one F. Need something? There we go. She's finally a bit more decent. <laughs> so last. so fitting for a woman of her position. Okay. Time to prepare the trap for Oda Wing. Agree to that. Wait, did 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 Jimer just tweet something more? Did did Jimer tweet some arts? I think he might have actually. I I gotta go check that out briefly. Oh, so cute! Oh, we have some. F oh, I'm gonna show this, guys. We got we got some more fan art of uh, Shaky and Jarena. Oh, it's so sweet. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get diabetes. Look at this one, though! Oh, look at- it's so sweet! It's so sweet and innocent on so many levels! It's just- it's just them cuddled up by a fireplace together. Uh, it's Oda Wang, not Oda Wang. <laughs> Love you so. Look at that. Now that- everybody give it up for Jimer. He is, uh, he is amazing. That is wonderful, wonderful artwork right there. Oh my. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's, it's pretty decent. Now then, <sighs> trapping a dragon in Dragon's Reach. How's that gonna go? Oh my. We will see, but hopefully, having watched that lewd, lewd fan art, I mean, it wasn't lewd, but that wonderful fan art will uh, help strengthen us. Okay. How do you feel about this? I don't know how you talk the Jarl into this plan of yours. I can be yeah, quite persuasive. I don't care, White Trunk. Or something. In the old fort, they rifted. 
Good for you, good for you, good for you. Dragons reach Jarl's quarters. What is the ship name? I don't know. What is the ship name? You decide. Alright, let's go find him. Go find that bad boy. In the door. Hey, hey. We're ready, Dragonborn. Just say the word. Sure you don't want to eat a few more apples? You good to go? May the gods watch over your battles, friend. You're ready to spring the trap on the dragon? As I promised. My men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your word. I'm ready. Let's go trap a dragon. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. Somebody said this quest might be a little buggy, so we're gonna make a save just in case. Make sure we have Dragon Rend on. Okay. Let's go call on Odawing. Odawing. Let's go make him come over here. Yeah, we gotta shout, didn't we? We gotta shout that we gotta do. Call Dragon. Hear my voice and come forth. I summon you in my time of needs. Early shakes my spears. Indeed. Oh yeah, we probably have to go out here to do it. On the balcony, so to say. The great porch! It's not a medium porch. It's not a decent porch. It's a great one. Go ahead and call Tremendous. this dragon of yours. We're ready. Oh my, I see you got some uh, some chains that are- Oh, look at that. Look at that sky, though. Let's see. Can I just do one word at a time? Hold. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna just- Yeah. But, but we should do the full shouts. Alright. Oh, dawing! Shaky, are you ready? Don't- Hold on, before he shows up, Dragon runs. Hear that? What? <gasps> uh oh! Sure. Oda wings here. All right, it's time for the test. Oh, Balgrif's gonna be at our side too. Here we go. Here he comes, indeed. Attack! Dovahkiin, he's gonna kill you. Dovahkiin is the best. Dovahkiin is so cool. Woo! Alright. Alright, let's, uh, let's, let's bring him in then. Come. We're supposed to bring him inside? He seems to be uh, quite happy outside. That's cool. Glad you answered my summons. Shaky, come. Come, come, Shaky. Oh. So is this going to be activated once he goes inside? Stop making fun of my pronunciation. Ah! Come on. Get him inside. I don't think we're supposed to kill him, Shaky. But... Shaky is uh, on the task, definitely. Oh my gosh. Come on. Shaky, we need to... <sighs> Hold on. There's only one way to fix this. Shaky, I need, I need to just grab your booty a little bit. Good. How am I supposed to say it, eh? Then, Ving? Oda Ving? I'm Norwegian, okay? We struggle with uh, the V and the W uh, sounds. It's like accidentally saying vine when you mean wine. It's just, uh, it's just part of- oh boy, here we go, here we go, here he comes, now! Got him! Oh, now that is cool. Now oh, that is cool. Hello, hello. You need some help? Ovuta mid kodav, caught like a bear in a trap. Yes, indeed. Zokfrini Grin Kogra Drun Viki Dovakin. Uh huh. Ah, I forget. You do not have the Dova speech. No. My eagerness to meet you in battle was my undoing, Dovakin. I salute your. Hmm. 
No cunning in devising such a Gramin Dol stratagem. Zubonar, you went to a great deal of trouble to put me in this humiliating position. In Sir Alduin, hmm? No doubt you want to know where to find Alduin. That's right. Where is he hiding? Renik Vaza. An apt phrase. Alduin Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thorn for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship. Whether his Thuum was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Mae, none were yet ready to openly defy him. Telling me where to find Aldwin? Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength. Devouring the Celesure, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovereign Guard is at Skaldafin, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Mindoran pa ok midoven avarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. Zuulost Ofan Hinlan. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? You promise to serve me? Um? Serve you? No. Need aid. If and when you defeat Alduin, I will reconsider. Hmm, Croesus. There is one detail about Skaldafen I neglected to mention. Tell me what you know then. Only this. You have the Thurm of Adova. But without the wings of one, you will never set foot in Skaldafin. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. You're asking me to trust a dragon? You expect me to take your word for that? Aran, you wound me, Dovahkiin. I may not tell the whole truth. But I am no liar. Go and see for yourself. Zu ni bo nor het. I will be here. Unless Alduin returns before you do. Well... You have reconsidered my offer, hmm? Onikan Kron? You will release me, Roland. If in return I promise to take you to Skaldafen and stop helping Alduin? I'll set you free if you promise to take me to Skaldafen, because honestly I've always wanted to ride a freaking dragon. Onikan Korav Gain Mirad. It is wise to recognize when you only have one choice. And you can trust me. Zuni Tarudis. Alduin has proven himself unworthy to rule. I go my own way now. Free me, and I will carry you to Skaldafin. Incredible. Uh, sir, you have no idea how long I have waited for such an opportunity. Eat him. I would be most appreciative if you would permit me to perform some, uh, tests on you, purely in the interests of the advancement of knowledge. Be gone, mage. Do not test my promise to the Dovahkiin. I assure you, you will not even notice me. 
Most of them are hardly painful at all to a large dragon such as yourself. Farangar, oh. very bad idea, even for you. Yep. Farangar? Uh, Farangar! Surely you wouldn't miss a few scales, or a small amount of blood. No. To me, what are you doing back there? Farangar! Jace. Get out of there. Oh. Well then. That's, um... That's quite something. Uh, okay. Well then, mister. Let's see. If I wanted to release you... Would I have to go up there? Well then, guys and girls, we have a dragon to release, do we not? Boy. Oh boy. What a way to conclude the stream, huh? Something to tell the grandkids, eh? Yeah. I can't believe that worked. Our scaly furry grandkids. Open the trap! You sure about that? You want to let that dragon loose after all the trouble to catch him in there? Yes, I'm sure. Your funeral. Someone else is gonna have to help you get him back in there again. <laughs> get ready to open the trap. Alright. <sighs> this seems like a really bad idea to me. Shut up. Carry on, soldier. This is all part of the Dragonborn's plan. Oh. Here we go. New. Kill it! Ah! No. What a wing. Buddy. Where are you going? Oh my gosh. Oh, too close. Saran Uth. I await your command as promised. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dova can? Oh my. I'm ready. Take me to Skuldafen. Good thing this isn't in 3D right now. So quit off. I warn you, once you've flown the skies of Kaisal, your envy of the Dove will only increase. Amativ. Yes. Yes. Or both. I'm off. Dude. Are you? <laughs> this is as far as I can take you. Grief both Akrin. I will look for your return. Or. Alduin's. I was kind of hoping to actually be on the dragon in the air, not like control or anything. It could just be like, you know, just a a, a cutscene on, on rails, so to say, but still. There's somebody trying to snipe me over there, isn't there? There's somebody aiming a bow at me. There definitely is. Well then, guys and girls. What about Shaky? Oh no. Could you do me a favor, Odaving? Please. Can you bring Can you bring Shaky here? We all love him so much. Oh, did you hear that? I think that was the sound of Shaky landing. Whoa, he brought you too? What a coincidence! This is amazing. Well, guys and girls, tune in next time when we go to School Dafen together with Shaky, the only Argonian who means something to me. Have a still good day. Take care and stay awesome. Most importantly, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.